I love in what direction this video is going. Proper, proper first world problem with the Carrera GT is that because it has a fly off handbrake that sits between the carbon tub and the oh, I know all about that seat, my Mercy Lago, mate. You gotta take your watch off because you're either gonna scratch your carbon tub or you can't get your hand down to take off the fly off handbrake. Or you could get it PPF'd at <laughs> end <of> <laughs> What is up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and welcome to Tom Hartley Cars. I am down here to see Carl Hartley, I'm here with Mr. JWW and today we're going to be taking a look at some insane hypercars. Normally when I come down here and film, this place is full of their latest and greatest stock. However, their showroom is ready. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to quite possibly the most ridiculous supercar showroom in the UK. Look at this brand new building on the Hartley Estate, showcasing all the wonderful cars that are inside. And today I wanted to do something slightly different, seeing as Carl will always have probably the best stock in the United Kingdom. I got in touch with my guys at Magnitude Finance and was like, hypothetically, if I won the lottery, we all do it, how much would some of these cars on finance cost? hypercar finance this is a thing and i also spoke to them about getting a bit of an idea on some of the clientele that the guys at magnitude finance have and how they go about doing it because whenever i go and look at cars to buy it's always in the mindset of 10 percent deposit and then the monthly payments up until the balloon however when you're looking at spending two million pound on a laferrari for example the price of those things aren't going down so there's no nuts such thing as a residual or a balloon payment so there is a thing called interest only where basically you split the cost of the interest of borrowing the two million pounds and split it across the monthly payments so it's a thing called interest only but magnitude finance have a finance calculator on their website where you can go put in the cars and get quotes on anything that you are interested in buying whether it be hypercars or whether it be super sports cars or just sports cars at 30 grand so we're going to go around the showroom carl is going to host us on a tour jww has got my phone with all of the quotes from magnitude finance so here we are you guys ready Yes. Oh, yeah, mate. Talk, talking amongst yourselves. Yeah. Carl, welcome back. To, welcome talking, back to the talking, channel. We're talking Carrera GTs. Speculating on Carrera GTs here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this close then. <laughs> you just ruined the deal, mate. It was, I'm out. I'm done. I thought you didn't want to talk about Carrera GTs. Yeah, we don't. Video. Keep rolling. man. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, this is your new place. Yes. Can we have a look around Mi casa, whilst Mi casa. looking at this? insane collection of cars yeah of course feel free it is ridiculous this place yeah it's congratulations by the way thank you very much yeah, massive it's been awesome. look at his office <laughs> tony stark stuff isn't it this <laughs> it really is we've got see-through floors so that we can look down at a noble we'll, we, we will go downstairs but let's start up here which is probably would you say the creme de la creme of your stock. yeah well when when we built the showroom there needed to be there needed to be space for each car to be with its own kind. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So in the last showroom that you came to, in, which, which we still have full of cars. I actually started the video. Yeah, it was, it's still, <laughs> still a decent view in there. Yeah. Um, you know, you'd have a Rolls Royce Phantom drop in next to a F40, which would be right. next to a, an Aventador. It looked a bit weird. Uh -huh. You couldn't see the wood through the trees, if that made sense. Yeah. But you're here, there's, there's plenty of space. And you know it's nice to see a P1, a LaFerrari, and a Bugatti, and a 918, and an Enzo. You've, you've got the Holy Trinity. You know, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. I had the, the, I've the full, the full house. You know, full house. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, I've heard of people with the Holy Trinity before, but I chucked two Veyrons in there <laughs> and just to see, you know, come get me. <laughs> <laughs> well, downstairs there is also a Carrera GT, which we will move on to, but JWW has got my phone with a list of hypercar finance quotes for anyone thinking about- Conveniently, the Carrera GT's at the top. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll get onto that because yeah. it's downstairs. Okay. Where would you like to start, JWW? Because we have got a fleet of incredible cars. Should okay. we start with that? I'd, let's start with the one right in front of us because this is substantial. Okay. So, I mean, there's a spot of history. I, th I think I was told that this car has been driven with some yeah it's, it's, it's done just just over well when we bought it it done 5200 miles and i 
responsible for the rest. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get out of these cars when you start driving. It's just yeah. amazing. Yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's just amazing. Myself and JWW were saying, out of all of the cars, even up until this date that things have been released, mm. that is still the mythical beast that That's sits at the top. So it's, it's now done just on 6,000 miles. And um, it's, it's been driven. It, it, it's, it's a car that someone could buy, drive, and not worry about, oh, I've paid a quarter of a million pounds extra for a car with a thousand miles or whatever. Yeah. And now I'm going to do 3,000 miles now. I've instantly lost that. That car is really price range at 2.1 million pounds. It is actually sold. Okay. And it was actually sold through finance as well. Cool. Interesting. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. All right. This is based on... I okay, think this, they're, they're, they're examples. Okay. Rather than examples. me okay. inputting all of my... They're just examples. Okay, examples. And we will state that these are all interest only. Which is a fascinating No, some situation. of them are not. Some of them aren't. Okay, some aren't. LaFerrari is. Is. Okay, so. But LaFerrari is a good one to have an interest only because the car, I feel, if it's bought at the right price, will stabilize around two million, two and a quarter. Yeah. And, you know, might even creep up a little bit. So, what the car appreciates in the long term could actually pay for your, your finance payment. Yeah, interesting. So yeah. that's why on Glad he's here. anyone <laughs> think he's done this before. You're, you're now wondering why it's sold, aren't you? <laughs> okay, so here we are. 2013 LaFerrari done 6,000 miles up for 2.1 million. Half a million pounds deposit. <laughs> Four year interest only at 6,799 per month with an APR of 4.9%, sir. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. I, I don't think that? I don't think that's a bad deal. It's not bad for for two point one million pound car. Half, it's the half a million. Yeah, that's the, yeah. That's but the pro rata, you're putting what a twenty percent deposit. In? It's default for him, is it? It's just it's yeah. just there. Yeah. It's, it's you know. It's, 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 <laughs> so you have to think of these things pro rata. Yeah. 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 Okay. So well, you don't think that's a bad deal? As an example, it's not a bad deal. It's not. It's not a bad deal. Not, not a bad. Seen deal. worse. I've seen worse. I've sold worse. Let's go on to the P1 then, because this okay. is a slightly, uh, well, quite a large price reduction to the from the LaFerrari. This is 1.1. Yeah, 1.1. So you're talking effectively nearly half price. Wow, half okay. price for a P1. That's crazy. So also and that's a car which has been next. enjoyed, which means the next owner can enjoy it. Yeah. Once again, this one's done. Near, nearly 6,000 miles, so you're not paying the, the big premium for a delivery mileage car for all your friends to go, wow, you got a P1, but you're not allowed to drive it. Yeah. So um, this, is, this is a drivable car. The guy I bought it from, he used it. Yeah. You were saying that the guy who owned this had a, another identical one. In, delivery mileage. In the same silver. Same color, <laughs> same guy's bought it. <laughs> same color, same spec, one to use, one to just appreciate and admire. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. All of his McLarens were Supernova Silver. From a 12C, to P1, to a Senna, to everything, Supernova Silver. Wow, good lad. And right then. And he sold his Senna actually because he didn't like it. Did Ooh. he? Interesting. So, 2014 P1, 6,000 miles, up for 1.1 million, mm -hmm. quarter of a million deposit. It's sounding good value now. Yeah. Um, three year term, 6,195 per month. But this is not an interest only. No, it's not. So, this has a 750k balloon. So what you're doing is you're, you're paying the car off as you're paying the payments, where on yes. the LaFerrari, you're simply paying to have the, the money. The enjoyment of yeah. the LaFerrari. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, so if, in, so interestingly then, in this, you're actually, you will have some equity in it. Yeah. And this, if, if you play your cards right on it, and maybe keep it for the long run, it might work out all right. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. So. What else would you like to move on to? We've got plenty of awesome examples here. This is, this is the greatest game in the a world. A question I get asked quite a lot <laughs> yeah. is, um, obviously if someone's buying a car, 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, people mm. automatically expect yeah. people to finance them cars. Sure. And people automatically don't expect people to finance a LaFerrari, a P1, a 918, a V1. Uh -huh. They just automatically think they're these if you're in that bracket, billionaires that come... Put it on the Amex. But not, <laughs> yeah, exactly. sure. not everyone's like that, but even if they are, yes. finance rates are so low at the minute. It makes sense. It makes sense for yeah, them to, to spread the cost. Their million pounds well, they can make could it earn for them. 100%. more money than what the, the payments are a month yeah. by not being in the car. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, yeah. we, we, sell, we sell a lot of these cars through finance. Yeah. OPM, other what people's a, money. What a fantastic insight into Isn't it? something that we're never going to be able to touch. Yeah. Hey, maybe, maybe, maybe yeah, not me. So, uh, what else is still up here on this deck? We've got we, P1. We, let's, let's compare P1 to 918. Okay. 
That's a good idea. And then go downstairs. Yeah, similar, so, similar prices. Similar prices, holy trinity and all that jazz. So, I that just, is the Spider. Wysak. Wysak pack. Similar mileage. Um, up for 1.2 million pounds, sir. Mm -hmm. 250,000 pound deposit. Mm -hmm. Four year term. 5,899 per month. 850k balloon. Oh wow! So 100k more on the balloon on a 918 yeah. than on a P1. It's interesting. interesting. Yeah. I wonder why that is. Brand value. <laughs> Brand value. <laughs> I, I think. Really, so. I, I would I, say I, so. I, I, I honestly, I honestly think. Now I'm, I'm robbing Peter to pay Paul here, but I honestly think. Can you pay me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, right, I'm stood right here. <laughs> um, I think. A P1 is actually a better buy for somebody at the minute than a 918. Okay. And I've had this conversation with a few of my customers who are in that bracket that would buy one of the two. Yeah. And I, you know, I'm lucky that I've got both to sell. So I don't really care which one they buy. <laughs> but I know if I had 1.1, 1.2 million pounds, yeah. I would put it into a P1 rather than a 918 Spider, simply because yeah. great car, great car, 918 made, 350 made. Yeah, very good point. So, yeah, absolutely. And the P1 was the first hypercar to follow on from the F1, so there has a little bit of a, a story and it's element a, and to it's it. an unbelievable car. And would, would you say that the P1 is more engaging and fun to drive than a 918? Of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. these cars. You could, you, daily it, that. you could daily that. You could daily that. Yeah, that but when you're absurd, spending 1.1 million, would you want to daily it with the weight over your shoulders? I don't know, man. Probably not. Probably not. What I do like about that though, even though it's hybrid assist, it is still naturally aspirated. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the engine is unique to that car. Yeah. Whereas the engine in that is not. It's <laughs> 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 moving swiftly on. <laughs> Let's go downstairs. Can we go downstairs? Yeah, let's go because downstairs. Because those cars. Sold, you want to save, save the big boy? We don't have that. Oh, you can edit that way out. Because it's sold. Please give us a tour down to the labyrinth of cars that. Yeah, so have this, is, this is. This next. Do you know what? I'm a, I'm a massive fan of our basement floor. Okay. Um, I just think it feels. Awesome. It feels like, yeah. <laughs> it feels, it, it feel like the back end. It feels like the back end. Yeah. It feels like it's. Wow, I didn't know this was here. Ah, look at the car lift. Ooh, wow. This is ridiculous. Voila. I know you're here all day, like every day. And do you just come down here and just like, this is, this is I, crazy. I sometimes, if I'm, if I'm working late, I'm in the office, or if I'm watching sports, I like to watch sports in my office, have a few beers. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just sit and, you know, I, I sort of bask in. In the awesome what's, what's around. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. I do. Yeah. I do. It's your own man cave, but it's yeah. arguably the best man cave <laughs> in the entire world. Look at that. Just behind you. At, at, night, the car lift. at night time, the lights in the start in the is just amazing. It's just You can see even in the daylight. Look how much they light up the cars. We've got a wonderful selection. Go on, what are you gonna say? Don't you feel like you're now in a completely different place like, than what you yeah. were Yeah. Here? Such a different feeling. And the air is cooling down here. You can feel it, guys. Yeah, 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 I'm cooling yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long did it take to build it? Two and a half years. Wow. That's a project, man. Yeah. 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 Wow. We, were, we were very, very, very meticulous with it then. Yeah. You can we tell. Want, we wanted, of how it's you know, out. we wanted, like, the, the walls in my office, yeah. the curved walls, <laughs> yeah. they had to be specially made along with the I'm rest sure. of the glass. But when they come, I wasn't happy with the, there the were quite big joins in the middle of them, so I was okay. like, send them back, do them again. Yeah. So they sent them again, and then when they come again, like, there was still something wrong, so send them back, do it again. So, wow. we, we were like that with everything. It looks cool though, it's, it's definitely paid off. I'm not sure if it's, if it's coming through on camera or not, but, you know, when you walk in here, you can, you can almost feel that. Come with <laughs> me. Talking about that. Come with me. This is, the, this is I can imagine if there was a, an op option of, looking at YouTube analytics to see where the most comments were landed in a time frame is going to be now. Yeah, I think so. It's going to be now, isn't it? Because <laughs> we're about to... Uh... This one, even though the, even though that, this, this finance, finance example is actually not that bad. No, it's not. The problem with this, the car is too new. <laughs> well, the car, the car, you can't actually, you are paying a premium for this car for yes. being so low miles. It's 600, 600 miles. miles. That's insane. How so old is the car? You can't drive, oh, you can't so drive it. Oh, it's an Yeah. So it's a 15 year old car yeah. that's only done 600 miles in And there'll life. be service miles, for sure. Yeah, just back like, and forward. Just back on the truck and after the truck. <laughs> you know, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, incredible. But you know what? For a 15 year old car, you think you would lose that. Have you sat in that car yet? No, I don't. Okay. 
What, you think you would lose that? You think you'd lose that new smell? It still smells new. The thing just smells oh new. Oh my god! It it's, is, like, it's like a time warp. It is stunning. It is, it and is stunning, yeah. I think this is one of the cars. Now looking at it in 2019, in 10 years' time, it is going to be a five million pound car. It might well be. Well, I just it sold. I just sold a black Crow GT we had to um, try to, <laughs> to sell it to me. I called him, I called him it. at Donington one day and I was like, look at this Carrera GT. I know. <laughs> um, well, if he'd have caught me a year ago, it'd have been okay, but yeah, then I put it into a bright red shiny thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which <laughs> I should drive more of. Um, yeah. So I sold, I sold it to a guy we both know actually, and the, how I sold it to him is he put a, a, a story on his Instagram of a, um, uh, Crow GT and put should have bought one of these when they were a Ventador money right and because they, they were they were they were 200 grand yeah they, they were 200 grand and um, I called him up I said look you're going to miss the boat again you've already missed it once like in a minute these cars are going to be a million quid yeah like any Carrera GT in a minute is going to be a million quid yeah. just like I remember when I was buying F40s for 400 500 wow and a good F40 would be like a really good one would be like 650 <laughs> Now, real, any F40, <laughs> yeah. like anyone is a million quid, like any F40, and a good one is 1.5. Yeah. So I, I called them up and said, look, you're going to miss the boat again. What are you going to do? Yeah, but you know, it hurts me because I could have bought one at 200, then 300. Now all of a sudden they're double and they're a bit more. And I said, look, you either buy one now or you, or you forget about it. You don't ever buy one. And he bought one. <laughs> <laughs> James, you listen. This is making me passively sad. <laughs> <laughs> Come Let's on see then. what I can do. Let's I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stick one up on Instagram. Oh, I wish I could have bought one of these at four, five, eight money. <laughs> so, um, it's a 600 mile car. Yeah. Uh, awesome to look at. Probably not the best if you want to go and drive it. No. 750,000 pounds. I actually think that's not bad. It's and I know that sounds insane through the camera. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds insane. But it's actually for a 600 mile, 700. Find, find a cheaper car anywhere in the world. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, yeah. Let's say, the let's equivalent say, spec. The equivalent car yeah. with less than, let's say, 1,000 kilometers. Yeah. Find me, because there's not one within 100,000 pounds. Yeah. So 200K deposit, two year interest, 2,789 pounds a month. Mm -hmm. That's interest only. You see, I think, that's, I think that's free motoring. That's a good interest only option yeah. because it's free well, motoring. It's free parking. Well, yeah, free, yeah. <laughs> you can't yeah. Go this but yeah. if you were the like your mate upstairs with the P1 who had two, yeah, 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 you could get this one to keep it, yeah. and that one would be crazy money. And it would pay for time. itself. It would pay for itself. Yeah, yeah. that would definitely pay for itself. I mean, yeah, I think yeah. that is pro rata. Now this is going to sound weird through a camera as well, but pro rata. <laughs> I think that's the best value for money car I've got. Okay, that's interesting. Quick public service announcement. Then anyone looking to buy a Crow GT or for a car to pay for itself. <laughs> This is the one. This is the one. <laughs> you just need to pay for it first, but then it will reemerge. you. <laughs> <laughs> five years down the line. What yeah. a cool car, though. It's, it's ultimate. For me, it's the car. Just, just put your head inside. Smell it. Just smell it. It's unlocked. You can open the door. I always remember how deep the yeah, cell is. Yeah, they're right, right in there. Oh, man. Yeah, that's... Vice Arc 2004, that. <laughs> 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 You're absolutely right, though. It does smell it's, it's amazing, completely isn't new. It? It's, That's it's... ridiculous. I love in what direction this video is going. Proper, proper first world problem with the Carrera GT is that because it has a fly-off handbrake that sits between the carbon tub and the oh, I know all about that. My Mercy Lago, man. You got to take your watch off because you, you're either going to scratch your carbon tub or you can't get your hand down to take off the fly-off handbrake. Or you could get it PPF'd at <laughs> end. <laughs> Yeah, awesome. Yeah, that is supremely special. Supremely special. Yeah. So we've done some fairly expensive, ridiculous stuff. Yeah. Obviously, here it is a toy shop for any car enthusiast. Yeah, you can get lost. Keep talking about million pound, two million pound cars. You know, we also we also sell the cheaper cut, like quarter of a million pound cars. <laughs> Shall we do that with the Aventador? Yeah, there it is. So Aventador S yeah. next up. Okay. Where are we? This is a 650S Can-Am here. How many of these are in the world? Not many. Five. <laughs> <laughs> 50 made worldwide. 50 made worldwide. 50 made worldwide. Wow. Now look at this. This is... This has got you all over it. This has got me all over it, and it's got Carl all over it, because I know how much he loves a V12 Lambo. Yeah. Love them. You love it. Love them. And is this, am I right in saying, one of, if not the cheapest Aventador S? 
on Auto Trader? Yeah, value value for money wise, age mileage, um, mm. definitely. I mean, you might find one with ten thousand more miles that might be yeah. a bit cheaper, but you know, it's done three thousand miles. It's a what great is, yeah. spec car. Yeah, it's low um, this is this is Batmobile. Yeah, two thousand seventeen. Um, it's just it's just awesome. It's just I've had to park it in the far corner of the showroom. So you don't so go I can't get it, it out. <laughs> <laughs> Downstairs at the back. I know I'm just gonna come back with eight thousand miles and I'll be like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> so Aventador S, uh, three thousand miles at two hundred and sixty thousand pounds, sixty K deposit. Mm -hmm. Two year interest only, one thousand one hundred and ninety five per month, Paul. <laughs> That's twelve hundred pounds a month. Yeah. To drive that. Yeah. Why are you looking at me? Well <laughs> just say it. Just <laughs> now <laughs> smell that. Yeah. You know. <laughs> smell now that. It's, now it's payback. <laughs> Either way I get paid. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then we've got the car next to it. 2017. Hurricane LP580, so the rear wheel drive. This is, a, this is a 610. Yeah, a the 580 is oh, upstairs. upstairs. Shall we go upstairs to see the final? Yeah, yeah I didn't yeah. see that. Yeah. Oh, all the way upstairs. Yeah, yeah. All the way oh, up. on the roof. Yeah, where they've got three supercars on a roof. <laughs> Cut that and let's go up there. <laughs> Welcome to the loft space. What a beautiful array of right hand drive cars, as Carl kindly pointed out, because you do see a lot of these cars and some of them are left-hand drive, which yeah. isn't a bad thing, but obviously right-hand drive, they're much more rare. Well, we're in right-hand drive country, and a lot of these cars, even back in, back in the 70s and 80s, and a lot of the limited production run Ferraris and whatnot, they predominantly made left-hand drive. Yeah. So it's about 10% that were made right-hand drive. Which makes them more expensive. Which makes them more expensive, makes them more collectible, makes them more rare, yeah. and um, it actually makes them easier to sell. Yeah. You know. You get a super super motor. There's, there's 50 super yeah, motors in right hand drive. That is so, so cool. You're buying a car that's one of 500. Yeah. You're buying one that's one of 50. Different story then. It's just a completely different story. And it's yeah. Rosso Corsa with crema interior. With a handling pack with. So that's an HGTE. HGTE yeah. handling pack with 10,000 miles. Wow. Wow. Bro. What are these? Like age? 2005. It's a class of the comes Russell and Kramer, isn't it? Yes. Russell King glass roof. Yeah. Wow. All the roof comes glass. Nice. Gold to back. Nice. When you look at the price of a 599 Aperta. Yeah. yeah. And then you see yeah, these. Like Aperta's a bonkers. What are they? Yeah. yeah. Just over a million quid. You know, and then. And this? It's 300. Okay. So it's Amazing. a quarter. Fairly quarter. reasonable. Yeah. Fairly reasonable. Classics are a different field in terms of car finance. We're not going to talk about these because residuals and age comes into factor when it comes to... These, isn't it? Very tough to yeah. get yeah. finance on something like these. It's actually a, a niche market that a finance company should really look at. Yeah. Because it's obviously less risk. Yeah. Well, they're going to be not going down in value, are they? Not the right one. Yeah. But outside... This is crazy. There's just three cars hanging out on the roof. Uh, care to explain? <laughs> well, it's just well, the weather's space. nice. It's just nice to be outside, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I've just noticed that that's a seventieth. That's a seventieth. Yeah. Um, tartan interior. The colour is uh, hit and miss, if I'm honest. But what's bad about it is I don't particularly really like it. What's good about it is that someone will, yeah. and it's the only one. Yeah. That's the only one. Yeah. So they made they made four variants of the seventieth anniversary. They made a, a California, um, a California, an F12, A488, whether it was a coupe or a spider, they, they sort of decided, and GTC4 Luso. Yeah. And they made, like, around the world somewhere, there is a California T in that combination, there's an F12 in that combination, and there's a Luso in that combination. So I have the only one, which is that <laughs> color in the world. <laughs> now, if you're a Ferrari collector and you love that color, that's and you've you. got the California T in that colour. Yeah, you're gonna want it. Come see me. Yeah, you know. come see <laughs> me. <laughs> come see me. <laughs> that um, is so ridiculous, but again, it makes in total front sense. Of us is our is our last finance example. Yes, and it is a finance example worth considering. This is definitely going to be the cheapest car on finance, but will probably have the worst residual. Well, it's interesting because this is the rear wheel drive version. Oh yes. So I love these things. You had one. I had one. You had one of these. I had one. And in the UK, they're super rare, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. They're not really, you know, 
people, yeah. because they're rare, people tend to just think they're rare for a reason. Obviously, no one likes them. Yeah. But they're not. Yeah. Like, you know from having one, they're great. Underappreciated. Yeah. Yeah. So, LP580-2. Yes. Um, I've lost it on the page now. Uh, 15,000 miles, up for 144,000 pounds. Good value for money. 2017. Yeah, yeah 2017. 15,000 pound deposit, three year term, 1,375 per month, 100K balloon, 5.79% APR. Does that so, sound good? Yes, yeah, sounds good, yeah. That, that's the kind of deal that we do a lot of. Yeah. You know, a, a lot of people come and they want to give a 10% deposit and have the payments as low as possible, and around 1,000. Yeah. Is really where they want to be. Between 1200, spot. 1300. So that's there you, go. Um, you can get a Lambo for that. Yeah. And in this weather, I think the reason why the 580 2 in the UK is underappreciated and not many people order it is because most of the time we don't have good enough weather for it. No, yeah, yeah. That's in, a good point. in America, you see all of these. Do you? In California, yeah, it's all, all over the 580s. Place. That's really? cool. It's all 580s. That is interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I, do you know what? To, well, you'll know this as well to drive on the road to use one you don't feel any difference in power yeah you don't feel any difference in grip they feel both exactly the same but obviously when you when you drive it hard you know if you're a good driver and you like to drive that's a more fun car yeah the 610 is so good yeah. it's so grippy like you can lose a bit of fun yeah they, they both sound the same they both sound great yeah you know 580 horsepower you know that's that's enough yeah i think i've got some Footage somewhere of you having a bit too much fun in yours. <laughs> <laughs> and we will not be playing that in this video today. <laughs> but there we go. How about that for not only a showroom tour, an insight into supercar and hypercar finance. I don't remember the last time or ever there was a video on YouTube of something like this. No. And what a place to do it. It's the best place to do it. The best. Car. Fabulous. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for your time, mate. It's no been problem. awesome. Cheers. It's been absolutely wicked to come down here whilst the weather is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to come back and I'm going to pest the car. I'm going to say, pest the car to just go out in something. <laughs> just get a free test drive, but I might end up spending money. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, head into the link in the description so that you can check out Carl Hartley on Instagram and also the stock that they've got here. Thank you very much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and tick the notification bell. I'll see you soon. Peace out. Goodbye.